Australian citizens could become subjects of covert surveillance by Australia's cyber spies under a shake-up of the intelligence agencies. Highly classified documents have been leaked to News Corp, revealing a potentially expanded role for a secretive defence agency. The government insists it's received no formal plan. But, as political editor Andrew Probin explains, there's already resistance to the idea from at least one Cabinet Minister. This unassuming building in Canberra is where Australia's sharpest and best equipped cyber spies work. They penetrate and prevent digital attack on Australian government and business by foreign cyber criminals and state-sponsored hackers. It is vital to keeping our nation prosperous, safe and secure. But there are moves inside government to extend the Australian Signals Directorate's powers to snoop over activities onshore and not just offshore. Leaked documents marked Osteo, or Australian Eyes Only, reveal an intention to give ASD a role in monitoring Australian citizens when ASD becomes an independent statutory agency in July. What is wrong with national security debates within the government around the cabinet table that people think they need to resort to leaking to get their own way? There is no plan for the government to extend the powers of the Australian Signals Directorate. Note here the word plan. Julie Bishop is correct in saying there is no plan yet. <laughs> but top level sources have told the ABC that Home Affairs Secretary Mike Pizzullo supports giving ASD domestic powers, including the ability to run so-called penetration tests on companies operating critical infrastructure, such as banking, telecommunications and energy, without the company knowing. And the Home Affairs Minister has also made known his desire for ASD to have an expanded role. Home Affairs will drive the coordination and cooperation needed to improve our cyber security arrangements. Our nation's security and an accumulation of Peter Dutton's power are two very different things. But others think it makes sense to give ASD a domestic remit, provided there's strong oversight. My main interest is to improve the cyber security of uh, businesses, people and, and government in Australia. If that occurs, then that's a good thing. I don't see any national security gap. Inside government and the bureaucracy, there's a tug of war. Peter Dutton's already the most powerful national security minister Australia's ever had. And there are folk who don't want him or his secretary, Mike Pizzullo, amassing any more power. And the leaking of highly classified documents is widely suspected of having exactly that motive. An act of sabotage to face investigation by the federal police. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.